It's toilet time, you little babies! What have you been up to on the internet? What kind of memes did you come up with? Are they good? They better be, or so help me Buddha! And I'll come to your house. It's meme time! It's meme time! Gather all your friends! It's meme time! It's meme time! It's meme time! The only cure for sadness! Whoa, whoa, whoa there, sailor! Before we get any further, have you guys heard of NordVPN? Oh. The best most awesome VPN service that the internet has to offer? Let me set you up with an example, okay? You're browsing the internet. You're unsecured. You're not on a VPN. You're going in completely raw onto the internet. Are you silly? You need NordVPN to be able to hide your IP address. Let me guess, paint you another scenario. You're on the internet. Ooh, what's this brand new show that everybody's talking about? I would sure like to watch that. You Google it, it's not available in your country. Oh, but don't you worry, you sweet little darling. Hook up NordVPN, click the country that the show is available in, and then boom, baby, you're watching it just like everybody else, and then you can go on social media and talk about it because you've seen it. FOMO no mo. You got NordVPN. If you want to know more about it, click the link down in the description. It can take you there, baby. It can take you places. And the world is your oyster cake. Everything opens up to you and you're better for it. Don't you want that? NordVPN makes you a better person. Didn't expect this to be a trilogy. Marks, smash or pass, all 898 Pokemon. What a smart idea. And then, of course, it became a massive trend. So then I didn't want to do the Pokemon thing. So I did uh, FNAF animatronics, and then Ethan took it a step further and did Smasher Pass on me and Mark videos, which there have been a lot. Maybe more than the 898 Pokemon. <laughs> no bitches? <laughs> I don't know how this meme came about. Isn't it like a Megamind meme? Um, and then people took the picture of my face from the, the announcement video for the tour doc, and people were like, no maidens? Because Elden Ring came out? No bitches? <laughs> dang, I knew Jack was short, but dang. I'm not short. Tommy's really tall. He's, he's over six foot. Leave me alone. Jack must do at this dedicated man. Yeah, I saw this. <laughs> Bravo getting it on day 69, by the way. Nice. But he's been doing this for so long, and I only found out about it like two days ago. So I finally did it. I finally duetted him on day 74. <laughs> Let's go! Nice. And then, oh, he replied. No freaking way. Thank you so much for this. It's unreal. Hey, I'll give you a like, buddy. I, I'm glad that you saw it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. Also, it took me way too long to figure out how to do this similarly. I couldn't get it right. I feel like such an old man trying to record in the same way and just not understanding how TikTok works. You should have seen me. I might as well have had old man glasses on, being like, "Am I? Did I do it right?" I, can, can I not pin it here? Whatever. Oh, I'm 32. I shouldn't feel like this. Remember when to the top of the morning neon sign in Rust? This is it now. Feel old yet? Wow. Yeah, it's so. That was so cool. I'm so glad I have one. Doesn't it look awesome? I absolutely love that neon sign. It's one of my favorite things in this room. Top of the morning coffee. Can't live with it. Can't, no. Can't live without it. Can't. But yes, feel old yet? Yes, I do, because of TikTok. <laughs> How people react to newborn babies. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, little dudes. They're so cute. <laughs> Accurate. Until the baby's crawling all over you and it's all up in your face and is an absolute germ factory. We went to have lunch the other day, and there was a little girl with her parents sitting like right next to us on a table across. And kids are disgusting. Have you ever noticed how much they they always seem to be coughing? Kids always seem like they're sick. Probably because they're inhaling and licking and touching everything in their vicinity. They're just coughing, spluttering germ factories. That's all I could think. She was drawing a really cute picture though, so... I mean, they have their moments, but like, pay taxes, go to college, do something! Except coughing all over my food. Just to clarify, the four horsemen of YouTubers we know, the real four horsemen of YouTubers everyone loves. 
let's not do this, okay? As, as sweet as it is uh, to even be considered among all these people, let's not do this. I think we as YouTubers have enough problems comparing ourselves to each other all the time anyway. At least I do. It stops me from doing, or used to stop me from doing things a lot back in the day and still kind of does. And I still have hang-ups about it, comparing myself to other people. We all go at our own pace. It's all fine. It, everybody here has had success on their own channels one way or another. Nothing but love, baby. But also at the same time, get fucked everyone else. I'm clearly the best one here. Actor, music man, coffee man. Comedian, documentarian, <laughs> POV, your depression walking in on a meantime video. Get right! Yeah! Take that depression! Yeah! Right in the face! Sadness! Yeah! Not today! Turns out all of that stuff is actually just internal, and I have now just beat the shit out of you. Uh, and that doesn't help, because that's just added to it. But it, hey, at least you got to watch some funny memes, huh? Those are good, right? Who needs anything else in the world when you have memes? Guys, can we not make fun of my name, all right? Why do you all make fun of the way my name is spelled when it's the original? It's based on, like, Jean from French. So you just take the S and put in a J. And then Jean became John. And then John in Irish and Gaelic became Sean. All right, these are the phonies because you guys couldn't understand that the father goes over the A and it's supposed to be pronounced Sean. So you were like, God. I can't understand another culture, I'm gonna change how it is. This is endemic of our society right now. That I'm being shamed for being the OG when you bastards couldn't even pronounce it properly looking at it. The amount of times I get food and people are like, Cian? How about if I went out and pronounced all your names wrong? You're missing the crucial element over the A. The father. And that's just trying to erase my culture. How do you feel? <laughs> wow, never seen this on the subreddit. <laughs> also that, yes. We Irish guacamole, Sean Yawn, Lawn McLaughlin. Good stuff, guys. Describe Jacksepticeye in one word. Coffee. Uh, loud. Actor. Uh, humanitarian. Savior. <laughs> What's like the most ridiculous one word we can come up with for me? Like entrepreneur. That one to me is just so annoying to hear because okay technically yes i am an entrepreneur but at the same time the amount of people who like they launched like a shirt and it's like i'm an entrepreneur now i'm putting that in my twitter bio <laughs> you know how it, it's just like it's true but you've done it so much that it's just an obnoxious now there must be one word like that that i can use that is just so, like, you look at it and you're just like, ugh. What are people are saying? Genuine. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm actually gonna get nice answers here, aren't I? Potato. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Irish. Good one. True. Loud. I said that one. True. Laugh! <laughs> also very true. Wholesome. Boss. Remember the days of boss? Remember when everything was like a boss? I remember. <laughs> Someone just wrote green. <laughs> Describe Jack's after guy in one word. I don't know, green. <laughs> Moving on. 12 year old me finding out Jack's after guy's name isn't actually Jack. <laughs> God, I remember those days. Like, it was super early on in the channel. And it, there was like a collective moment where everyone started to find out that my name wasn't actually Jack. And there's still some people today, like, I'll, I'll join a server with some other YouTubers or something. I remember back in the Among Us days, and people were like, what? Because they just have it in their head that I'm a Jack, and then they associate this face with Jack. And then when it's not that, it's like, oh, you don't look like a Sean at all. You don't look like a Cian at all. Oh, Lord. Top of morning! Irish noises! <laughs> there we go. It's a Jesus. <laughs> My God! What are, why are you waking up at 6.05 p.m.? Top of morning! You're waking up at 6.06 p.m. Why? Why such a specific time? It's not top of morning. It's top of evening. There we go. It's, oh, Jesus. It's an impressive alarm, though. <laughs> oh, I see what it is. It's the Angelus. 6 p.m. every evening in Ireland, the Angelus comes on TV. Any Irish people out there know what I'm talking about? Of course you do. The Angelus comes on. 
this is, I don't know what it represents. But it's like 6 p.m., The Angelus comes on, and for some reason it's like a time where Irish people, before the evening news, sit and say their prayers. This will tell you how absolutely batshit crazy Catholicism in Ireland is. I remember I had friends when I was younger that 6 p.m. would come on and I'd be in their house and the mother would yell, lads, prayers, and we'd have to go into the kitchen, stand in front of the TV and say our prayers out loud. I totally blanked this from my memory. I didn't know the fucking prayers. I would just stand there going like the meme going <laughs> And I think for the longest time I thought I had them fooled But now that I'm thinking back on it, there was a lot of times when they would just like look at me And be like They knew that I was just going <laughs> But in my head I was like Blend it right in Oh my god What is the Angelus? The Angelus is a radio television Irish program First broadcast in 1850 the sound of the Angelus bell ringing for one minute the Catholic devotion commemorating the Incarnation or the Annunciation. I'm nowhere closer to figuring this out! The Angelus exemplifies a species of prayers called the Prayer of the Devotee. A species of prayers? The 2015 revamp. <laughs> Lads, the prayers are not working. The kids aren't into it. They're not making TikToks at the Angelus at 6 p.m. We need to revamp it. What have you got? Roger. It's like the 6 p.m. hits. The Angelus comes on. Then suddenly it's like, alright, time for some prayers. Alright, got that in, God's happy. No problem, bud. And then you start, you tuck into your dinner, and the news is on, you're like, alright, time for some fucking misery. What horrible shit's going on in the world today? Oh, sleep is for the weak. I am one of those people. How the media portrays waking up after nine hours of sleep, what we actually look like after nine hours of sleep. <laughs> when did I do this? Oh my god. I look like Robert Pattinson in the new Batman movie. Which I mean sexy and sick as hell. I just need some eyeshadow. I used to say that all the time as well. I used to pride myself on how much energy I had. And everyone used to talk about, wow, Jack's so energetic. And I was like, hell yeah I am. And I was so proud of it. And I was like, never sleep. Sleep is for the weak. I work all the time. Now I'm just an old man who's like, no, sleep, please. I love sleep now. It's great. I don't ever feel rested from it, but that's a different story. It's probably because I drink so much coffee every day, <laughs> but more. <laughs> nice. Dude, go all out. Don't just use your fingers. Use your actual arse cheeks. Say arse, 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 arse. All right. Yeah, you're right. Arse. That's not funny. <laughs> Come on. If you're going to make the joke, at least commit to it. <laughs> we have the Giga Chat meme, but flipped. The most tack American? Oh, weak. Baby. And then the least prepped Irishman? Doesn't matter. Granny's got her trace, and he's an absolute chad. I don't know what all that tack nonsense means, but I'm here to sell a potato peeler. A uh, meme a day keeps the potatoes away. Grandma's got arthritis. She can't be using one of these. Good old Ronnie and the Johnnies. Today is the seventh anniversary of Happy Wheels episode 69. Can we all agree to go comment nice on this beautiful day? Okay. Let's see. If I just search Happy Wheels 69, it better show up as just me. Nice. <laughs> 14 million views? Good lord. Where's all the nices? Where's all the nices? Huh? Where, the, uh, where are they? I'm not seeing a single one! It's just quotes from the episode! What is wrong?! Wait, so episode 70 has 8.5 million views? Episode 69 has 14.5 million views? Massive discrepancy! What does episode 68 have? 7.5 million views! So clearly, everyone's just clicking episode 69 to be like, Woo! 69! That or I just really found my groove with that episode. I really think... Episodes like 1 to 10 were finding my footing, 10 to 68 was like this weird nebulous phase, but after 69, I just found it. I understood what I had to do. I also love how episode 69, I, <laughs> I'm wearing the exact same episode as episode 70. I just recorded both of those in the same day. When was this? March. I think that's like a PAX prep thing. <sighs> The good old days, huh? You just sat down, recorded 20 minutes of Happy Wheels, your voice was absolutely gone. What a time. When your mum comes back and you've re just realized that you haven't done any of the things she's asked you to do. 
That is so relatable. I remember the last time my mother came home and gave me stuff to do. I think I was like 12. <laughs> Look, I'm cute and quirky. <laughs> I eat a Kit Kat all at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Does this count as having a personality? <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> oh, I don't know why that makes me laugh. Oh, it's so dumb. <laughs> I just... Oh, the Kit Kat thing. The amount of people who do it who eat the whole thing at once and then everyone freaks out and is like, Oh my god, why? Why? It's like, guys, it's just a fucking Kit Kat. Come on! And then everyone online who does it are like, I'm not like everyone else. I eat the Kit Kat all four fingers at the same time. Come at me, I'm ripped. No, he's too dangerous to be kept alive. No! Lately, it's a special breed of spammers, bots, Similar comments all the time. It's just an absolute disaster. It's <laughs> Proven immediately. Jesus. It's it's just out of control. So, because of that video, people keep telling me about this other thing that Theo Joe did that Linus Tech Tips brought up that's a bot that helps you, like, combat the spam and you can go into your videos and you can select, like, five videos and you can delete all the spam from it. And that's great. That's an, uh, a wonderful tool. But that still requires me to go access a tool, put in all the information, get rid of the spammers, and I have to do that for every video then that I upload, and I have to do it frequently. I still think there are things that YouTube can do from a top level to get rid of a lot of this. To, to Even if you called like 60% of them, I think that it would still be a big help. I know that it's impossible to combat every bot all the time, that they'll have ways of getting around it, but I, Google, you have the analytics, you have the power, you have all of the information basically of everybody on the entire planet that uses Google all the time. You have a lot of bots and a lot of systems and a lot of AIs that are very good at what they do. You are able to combat it, just for some reason you're not. And I don't know why. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of Meme Time. Thank you guys so much all the time for interacting with this community, for going to the subreddit. Be part of it. Go to the subreddit, join it, post some memes if you want to, hang out. I'm just glad that we, we still get to do this. We have some sort of like community interaction all the time. I miss it. You know, that's why we go to places like the subreddit, because the YouTube comment system just, we can't interact with it that much anymore because there's just almost nothing of value in it. So we have to go to other places to to interact. But I'm glad we still have some sort of avenues and some sort of connection with, with each other throughout all of this. So I'm just glad that that still exists. Well, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Have fun. Till the next meme time.